Uh, may I invite the panelists for this um, yes, discussion? Ajahn uh, Ali Tanawali, uh, Professor Nakamine, Professor uh, Francesco Berneso, Dr. Shunro Takai, Ajahn uh, Pon Pawit, Si Pirom, Ajahn Bunchana, Pong Jaren, Ajahn Sati Tieng Vithyapon, Ajahn Natapon Tamachot, Ajahn Si Hatat Ngam Ukot, and Ajahn Lapi Pat Nak Bunnam. Please, um, more on the state, please. Professor Kim, Professor Kim, please. Uh, please, Professor Kim. The, the first presenter is uh, Ajahn Natapon Hongku from Bashira. Please. Okay, good, good afternoon. Uh, oh, good afternoon, Ajahn, Ajahn Atit, Ajahn Ukrit, and our panelists, and everyone. Uh, my name is Natapon Hongku from Bashira Hospital. Today, I would like to present my case. Uh, in, in this case, might be shown in the, some slide of Ajahn Pruk, but I think we, we, we have a, another point to discussion, so let me start with my case. Okay. Okay, pitch, expand the uh, slide, please. Uh, could you make the screen become larger and turn the, the panelists, the monitor, toward the middle? Yeah, yeah, it's all my great guy, have to turn. turn. We have we have two cases and um, fifteen minutes per case. Okay. The, okay. My case is a uh, sixty years old male. He presented with the severe right knee pain for six months. The pain progressed for five years and increased when when he walked, and no fever, no less pain on the on night pain. For the part history, he had a fracture of the both bone of the right leg and underwent cross reduction with internal fixation with uh, IM nail at the tibia for 40 years old. After surgery, he, he could walk and back to the normal activity, no problem of the wound, no problem of the function, and his another indices just only the hypertension and dyslipidemia. The physical examination, he walked with antalgic gait and pain in the right knee. While cut and virus state test was neg uh, negative. He could full random motion of the right knee, no problem of, of the laxity. The investigation for everything were normal CVC, HR, CRP, and I also aspirate the knee joint. Is, the result is normal. This one is an uh, x ray of the this patient for the hip knee ankle and right knee. Uh, AP and lateral, lateral standing wheel, and this one showed the uh, uh, entire of the the heart, the, the old hardware. Okay. Uh, for the further investigation, I the first thing I I, I quite uh, question about the cause of the knee. So I inject the silocaine into the knee joint, and after I inject the silocaine, the pain is. It, it's improved, so I can guarantee our panelists the problem is occur from the interarticular pathology. So back to the X-ray again. So could, could you make a summary again the age of the patients? Okay, uh, patient have a 
problem of the fracture of your both bone, right? Knee. How how old is the patient? Ah, uh, sixty years old, male. Sixty years old, yes. and clearly the knee is swollen. Ah, uh, swollen sometimes when he walk. Okay. How long? So he. Yeah. Uh, it seemed to me that the the tibia uh, the tibia nail is is too long. It might hit the uh, intra-articular part of the tibia bone, and also, uh, did you do the the anterior dowel test? Uh, anterior dowel is normal. Normal. Yes. So I would remove the nail first, and then do nothing. Observe. Okay. Yeah, I agree with the, uh, him, uh, Kari. Uh, I have an actual uh, question: Is about how is the, the virus and the vargas instability? Instability. Yeah, virus and vargas, the lateral side. Okay. Uh, it, Every recommend is normal and uh, well normal, no problem of the laxity of the knee joint. But the problem is totally pain, pain in the like a mechanical pain. Yeah, the so first one is to remove the nail and the watch inside uh, using the arthroscopy. Yeah. Same. So anyway, this nail is in this patient for 40 years, right? Yes. yes. And how can we explain it? Just produce the pain just only this six months. If we just want to remove the nail, because sometimes this kind of nail can move, can move. There's not a locking nail. After forty years, and and I, I think we already know the answer from Doctor Flick in the last lecture. <laughs> but but uh, maybe maybe this is not a severe arthritis yes. from the X-ray. Yes, and maybe. We need to find what is the cause of the pain. Is the most important thing, and and you know, in my the, idea is just cytokine injection. Maybe cannot know what is the part of the pain in the knee joint. In this scenario, if, if you want to do further investigation, for example, if you do the MRI, it's gonna scare, oh. right? Yes. Because of the metal. So simple thing, just remove the nail and observe for a while, and then you can find uh, what should be the cause of the problem. For, for me, I think uh, the tibial condyle elode, the posterior, uh, posterior condyle of tibia is the elode. That means patient should have uh, ACL injury mm -hmm. during uh, uh, injury. I think that it's, uh, the cause of pain should be instability from ACL insufficiency. Okay, so now the most of the, um, the panelists are questioned about the I understand that most of the panel question about the osteoarthritis is it the cause of the pain, and um, who will do the total knee replacement and the panelists? No, just remove the nail. Uh, is anyone don't remove the nail, just injection or something? And For the removal of the nail, I I do like check the MRI first. Uh, yeah. Before remove the nail, check the MRI. Yeah, MRI. Are you concerned about the artifact that can happen in the MRI? But yeah, maybe. But the 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 nail is the quite lower, so we can see the crucial ligament and meniscus. I think it's possible. For me, I if you request MRI first before before surgery. Okay, so some, some remove some. remove the nail and then MRI. Okay, so. Um, Two options, uh, MRI and remove the nail first, MRI, okay. So could, you could, you, could you tell me which portion of the, the lower limb that is painful? Uh, he, t he told me that when he walk, he pain every uh, in, intra, intra, intra. Oh, whole knee joint? In knee joint, yes. Whole know. knee joint? Yes. Whole knee joint, yes. I can't do knee joint? Yes. Because it's only on which bearing? <laughs> when, when he, when he walk. With a, even if he didn't yes. apply his body weight on the floor, he has pain. Yes. Spontaneous pain. Uh, mostly on when he walk and sometimes bend the knee. Sometimes bend the yeah, knee. Yeah, sometimes bend the knee. When upstairs and downstairs. Remove the nail <laughs> first. Anyone from panelists want to uh, do the arthroscopic diagnosis uh, intra-articular? Want to do the arthroscopic diagnosis first? Yeah, I, I do. Let's arthroscopy and remove the nail. So, um, you can proceed? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, in, in this case, my plan is I think 
after I inject the cytokine, I think the problem is intra-articular clot. So I decide to do one stage, one stage, just to remove the nail and perform the total knee replacement. But this is a picture show the. I, I guarantee you that you you can see the authority chain of the knee, also fine and erode of the patellar, especially in the patellofemoral part. And I try to find the entry point of nail in this picture and. In the right side, show the entry point of nail A, and then I try to remove it, but I create the big hole of the bone, and unfortunately, I can cannot remove it, and the nail remove just only one or two centimeter. That that is a problem of my intuitively, so I wanted to ask our panelist at. At that time, what, what should I do? <laughs> General rule of orthopedic. If you get stuck, put more force. <laughs> <laughs> I, I use a stronger as man in, over, in OR to remove it, but I, I cannot remove it. In every, anyway, I cannot remove it. Just in the picture. First you hit. Just pull is not enough. Just hit. Uh-huh. Okay, that's the point. Uh-huh. You just gradually uh, hit it in and out with a... Uh, I, I don't agree with Professor Ali to put more force. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to break everything out. Just use a constant force, maybe 100 times, and see how it moves. Repeated uh, push and pull, push and pull. Insert more and pull. Maybe repeated job. Uh, finally, you can remove. Maybe one hour later. Yeah. So, any any panelists have a different method to remove this nail? Um, push and pull, the same. Push more force. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, so, something else? No, ostomy. Because uh, in the morning we had a uh, we had a case. Yes. Like this, uh, this stuck nail, the kunchen nail in the femur, and um, yeah. So do you, do you suggest an ostomy? Anyone do the ostomy to remove the nail? Part of the nail gets stuck inside the canal of the tibia, so it's a bit uh, risky to decide to do osteotomy. So I would say that uh, just a kidding that uh, many orthopedic surgeons do the same thing. They get stuck, they put more force, but at the end of the day, you need to learn to bang it down and pull it up and try. And you might spend a lot of time, but this is uh, your practice to get your muscle stronger. Okay, so uh, every panelist recommends you to push and pull. So. And in, in this situation, uh, cannot uh, take the, the nail out. Uh, what, 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 what should we do? Close the skin or do the, the other? Cut the nail and close the skin. Cut and the think nail. the other way. <laughs> I think the isthmus area will be the problem point. So in case I will open the uh, isthmus bone like a window, mm -hmm. and uh, I can remove. Or like a... Yeah, after failing of a push and pull technique, but mostly we can remove the nail. Total osteotomy is not that recommended. Probably, if we we can use a more more heavier hammer, like a maybe ten kilogram. Uh, Hammer, maybe it might be easy for that. Or maybe we should call more and uh, young man. So in this situation, maybe the show must go on. And another technique when, when we can use like it, we can, like uh, when we have the broken the extended cord at hip femoral stem, we can cut it in the proximal and use the trephine reamer. It depends on do we have the trephine remover in the OR. Maybe we delay surgery to do that again, or we can do it that day 
or just cut the proximal enough to put the standard totally around there. Maybe that's enough. Right now, the, the Sydney is stuck in flexion. <laughs> so the, is there any bone loss after you open the proximal tibia like that? Uh, just show. I, I will show in a later photo about the bone loss. Where is the tibial tuberosity? Uh, tibial tuberosity. Go on. Sorry. Around here. Yeah. Okay. So I, uh, when, when I, in, in that day, I think I have a big problem, so I use the my dad's, my dad's instrumentation from the next operation room, is spine surgery, so I use the my dad to cut the tibial nail and end up with a very big, very big hole like this. Like this, and a lot of metal debris. I will show you. Then I remove, I remove the 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 cutting proximal part of nail, and there are many a lot of the metal debris. So I try to irrigation and debridement, and show the big gap. There is an arc in this photo. So that is a new problem for me too. Very big, but the tibial tubercle around here. Sorry. Okay. okay uh, panelists uh, who want to do the to Tony Atoposti or uh, or the the other choice like uh, close skin and wait and see <laughs> and do the uh, as an, as an, KA as later. <laughs> Just close up the skin. Close the skin. You have to know when to stop <laughs> <laughs> or when not to do surgery. I think then come back more prepared next mm -hmm. week or something. Okay, uh, any panelists uh, want to do the, to proceed the total knee replacement or maybe the PF replacement because uh, it seems to me that the patient has a defect at a PF joint. No? You know, uh, if we proceed to do the total knee, you need to think about the, the distal stem of the tibial component. It might get stuck on the hardware below the tibial joint line. So uh, this is why I think that at the beginning, it, you just plan to remove the nail. Uh, you might not open to aggressive like this. And every time we learn that, uh, if we have the nail that was put long times ago, we have a higher chance to get stuck like this. So uh, at this juncture, even though we close it, right, at the end of the day, you need to come back again and you need to proceed some kind of a, a reconstructive like arthroplasty later. Complication comes in case case, so today is not a good day. We should stop. <laughs> okay, sir. Ajahn Kong, you can uh, proceed. Yeah. So I, I proceed, I proceed, I go on the show must go on. So I try to do the the total knee further. So this one show the try out the prosthesis in the extension and fraction, and I augment with this. I use the bone for for fill the, the, the gap and fix with screw and put the cement. This one show the post operative X ray. I concerned about like a Jan Ali told me because I, I think I luckily to can put the TV stem TV tray. Any comment from panelists? One year. Yeah, and the, the tibial tray is still stable? Stable. Yes. yes. In my opinion, uh, if we do like uh, like this, because uh, you see the big hole, uh, even though it's a it seems like a, a look like contained defect, right? But actually the front part is non-contained defect. Mm. And even though cement 60 years old and situation like this, I, I would uh, concern pretty much about possible early loosening of the tibial component. Can I ask if the infection occur, what will you do? If the knee has infection, what yes. will you do? Very, very 
We need to my very concern about this because you, you see the metal there be a lot of metal there be so uh, post positive I, I I give the IV antibiotic for a long time just only two weeks for IV antibiotic and uh, close follow up the patient in first year and the question is if they got the infection so maybe I have to remove everything so you must remove yes I am not that's the point. Yes. Are there any comments? Uh, okay. Okay, so uh, no, com no more comments. So thank you, Dr. Kong. Thank you. Your nice. nice presentation. The next presentation will be um, Ajahn Takit Chompu Sang from Radwiti Hospital. Uh, thank you, Chairman and Co-Chairman, and good afternoon, uh, all panelists, and good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Takit Chompu Sang from Rajwiti Hospital. Today is the uh, last case today for the case discussion of the knee section. Okay, I want to start uh, the history of this case. Uh, this case is a Thai female, 44 year old, is a half hipper, and this <coughs> She complained about the right knee pain two years before. And in the prison illness, uh, 30 years ago, she was the most critical accident, and she was right knee pain and deformity. And uh, I talk about the, the history. He, 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 she told me she not treatment by the orthopedic do doctor. And af after that, she has a right knee deformity, but she can walk, she can work. And Two years before, she complained about right knee pain and limit length of motion and the clinical pain not solved by the medical treatment. She referred from the uh, Peshaburi Hospital to the Rivity Hospital. And the uh, pathology is no underlying disease and no drug allergy. And on the physical examination, the, uh, <coughs> on the right limb alignment showed the wallet alignment and the leg length discrepancy on the right less than the left leg, uh, 2.5 millimeter. And the area of the, the pain is a medial joint line pain and no patellofemoral joint pain. And the range of motion on the fraction in the active, length of motion is 120. And she showed the fraction contacture 30 degree. For the special test in the anterior posterior alignment test is negative and the walkers walrat test is negative. Uh, for the lab investigation, uh, clear about uh, no sign of the infection in the CBC and ESR CMP. And this is a picture of the physical examination by the passive examination. And I jump to the X-ray view in the standing view, both in the standing view and on the lateral view. And this is, this is the scanogram view. The scanogram shows the mechanical axis alignment is 140 degree. I have a question for the uh, many panelists to comment about the, the x-ray in this case. Start with Ajahn Munchana. Uh, Munchana. Start first. Uh, this case is a severe wallet deformity post traumatic uh, the canal is closed already. Uh, I should to to use an, a computer navigator to to do total knee orthoplasty. Ajahn Satit. I think this case is a uh, ecta articular deformity, mouth union. Uh, I I think I, I need to do the ecta articular correction first, uh, and. Then wait and see, and maybe maybe uh, go on to the total knee if she has pain. So this is a very young patient, 43 years old, and his, his or her problem is how you measure the, the length, limb length for 2.5 centimeters is from just from the femur or overall alignment? Uh, from the femur, uh, uh, overall alignment is 2.5 
two five five centimeter shorter in the right. Yes. Uh, but the the defect show in the defect of the deformity show only on the on the femur. So it shortened two five five centimeter from the femur, right? Uh, no. But just the all alignments. From overall alignment, but majority is from the femur. So it's have a many advantage to do the osteotomy and the opening with type can increase the length for the patient too. So only one thing that maybe cannot resolve from the osteotomy is the friction contracture. I don't know if there is any soft issue like a, we can like this adhesion and help to regain the ring of motion. Maybe we can also do the soft tissue release in the posterior part too. But there are so many advantages to do the osteotomy first. Uh, I, I also agree with, with open with distal femoral valgus osteotomy. Um, I probably wouldn't mind so much about the flexion contracture because she's been like this for 30 years, so she probably can cope with, with the deformity. Um, so I, I would like Dr. Sati just do osteotomy and wait and see. And maybe in a few years, we will decide again whether to do uh, total knee arthroplasty or not. Uh, the one point is uh, I, I need to look out the chronic osteomyelitis first. Yes. Maybe uh, I, I need to investigate with the MRI. Yeah. And, and the femur is have a quite severe friction deformity too. We, we can regain the friction contracture from the osteomyelitis too. Yes. Uh, another, pa an, uh, an, another pa panelist uh, want to, to need the more in investigation for the CT scan. Uh, you want to see the CT scan? I show you. Okay. I have a CT in the uh, colonial wheel, sagittal wheel, and <laughs> on the axial wheel to see about the, the component, to see about the, the femoral uh, bone deformity. Uh, I, I would say uh, uh, from the plain film, uh, we, we have to concern first the patient age is young, second this is too plain deformity and uh, I think uh, the deformity cannot correct interarticularly by doing just a, like a primary total knee. Okay? So I would think that we should do a corrective osteotomy to plain first. So to plain I would say closed wedge osteotomy seem to be safe because you need to correct both pain at the same time and then we observe the patient for a while. We can let her walk in, in this uh, a little bit and uh, I, I think a little bit uh, sometimes painful but this is 44 years old. And then uh, when she pain come to like uh, severe enough we can ask the, her to come back and then to do another arthroplasty surgery. Another comment, please. Yes, and uh, I think this, of course, and uh, this deformity, including the uh, uh, valves deformity of the femur, and also and uh, flex deformity, right? I think the uh, limb discrepancy between the two, and uh, also you can see some pelvic and maybe and spine deformity. Now she is around forty. She is around. 40, right? If we, uh, if she and uh, keep this uh, this uh, discrepancy for a while, probably fix the spine scoliosis or maybe some pain would be uh, would be would occur. Therefore, I think I recommend you to correct the uh, valve deformity also flex deformity using uh, using the uh, maybe Irizarov or uh, some some kind of. Uh, an external fixator, then uh, you can uh, adjust, because I'm not sure uh, the, and the length of the tibia is the same as the left side 
or maybe you have to check it because it is very difficult to, to measure the real length of the bone. Maybe you can, uh, you can uh, correct these uh, uh, the, the, uh, two deformities gradually. gradually. Also, you have, this patient has a patella baja, baja. That meaning that, you know, if you correct the uh, flexion deformity, flex deformity gradually to extend, also you have to release the, uh, maybe a posterior capsular, posterior capsule. Then, then you can fix this uh, flex deformity, also flex contracture. Uh, Professor Kim, Professor, your, your opinion, please. Uh, I also have a very similar idea because the patient is too young and uh, this is extra-articular deformity. So TKA is not an operation for deformity correction. So I, I would perform the corrective osteotomy and distal femur first. So either open or close wedge osteotomy because uh, since the, after the osteotomy, the leg became almost straight. So leg length discrepancy could be solved. So uh, I recommend this femoral corrective osteotomy first. Professor Natapon, one stage. Totally with our panelists <laughs> that we need to do corrective osteotomy first. Professor okay. Nakamine. Yeah, all the same. Same. But I'm just wondering, the, it's very tough to correct the flexion contractions. That's the point. Okay, so uh, what do you do? Okay. okay. Uh, uh, after I I physical examination and I I see the the X-ray and the CT scan, I I don't worry about the the the, the cartilage uh, cartilage loss. In this case, I see in the in the lateral view the cartilage is still okay. Uh, in this case, I I plan to osteotomy, but I have a. Um, uh, low equivalent in the osteotomy. This case is a uh, distal femoral osteotomy, a uh, case number two for, for me. And I decide to use the distal femoral osteotomy, use the adapt to use the navigation system to collect the alignment. And I select the biplane oblique osteotomy with the lateral uh, locking place uh, because of I, I don't need the, the, uh, the instrument outside the, the pattern, same the dome osteotomy to collect more and more deformity. And in the entire operative, I use the lateral skin incision and I identify the area of the osteotomy site and I, I draw the line of the oblique osteotomy in biplane and I push the pin to prevent uh, the straight fracture and cast the bone in the oblique line to plane and use the dome. After I, I osteotomy, I correct the deformity record by the, the computer assist navigation and template with a small DCP and I adapt to use the, the, the program of the high tibial osteotomy to use with the distal femoral osteotomy and in the preoperative to see in the computer show the wireless uh, 30, 31 degree and the fraction contacture 26 degree and af after osteotomy and corrects the deformity still while that deformity 18 dicky at the fraction contacture nearly uh, 18 dicky and I feel the the calf after osteotomy with the <laughs> muscle line allograph at the defects and this is a post-operative film and this is a two month for up and this is a four month for up and the mechanical axis will um, correct from the 140 degree to 167 degree. You, you do the crossing bed osteotomy? Uh, no, I, I, I not use the crossing bed osteotomy. I use the biplane osteotomy, okay. oblique osteotomy in biplane and to open, a little bit open and rotational. The cast, the cast can can show in the two plane, two plane in the in the coronal and the sagittal, and the cast cannot collect the rotational. I use the rotational deformity with use the patella landmark and the and the foot landmark. Don't uh, avoid the in towing case, avoid the the straight and out towing case. And I see uh, it's still eight degree of virus. Uh, uh, in 
in the in cast show x dg but in the in the scanogram show 12 or 13 dg okay so so comment from the panelists uh me start from ajan bunchana uh uh very good well done <laughs> Because I don't have, uh, he used a technology to, to, to perform ostomy to collect every pain. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's good. Mm -hmm. I, I actually have a question. Since you already have the navigator and, and you know you still undercorrect the deformity during surgery and why you stop? Um. I, I think the, the, the navigation have an have a optional to, to see the interoperative, but the navigation uh, will good if you, if you registration is truly in registration, but the, the navigation for the high TB osteotomy that I use the program of the high TB osteotomy, but in this case, I, I certainly distort femoral osteotomy. I adapt to, I adapt to use, but the point of the legislation is the skin legislation. I think it's, it's, it's not correct. The point not correct in the bone. It's, it's correct on the skin. Mm. So, so, so in intraoperative, you, you still know it's still in various deformity? I, During I, I think, I think after, 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 I think this technique is a good for this case. It's a dome osteotomy to collect all direction. But I worry about the, 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 the instrument outside the, the body to create the pin tag infection. I, I use the, the biplane, technique of the biplane. Biplane cannot correct in all directions. Mm. During, during surgery, the computer show the alignment back to normal, right? Uh, no. Uh, you are right, okay. The computer shows still while last. This is the, the after fix the press. The while last X degree. Why 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 don't you collect to the normal? Uh, because this uh, this is a bony collection for the soft tissue collection is still contacted. My my concern is that the patient already have developed arthritis. This is not just deformity correction. So. Even if you already improved the alignment, but it, it's still in virus, so I'm, I, I'm, I'm not sure if the patient can get rid of the pain, so maybe it, in, in, in surgery? In my, in my planning, uh, I, I worry about after I, t I do the distal femoral osteotomy and the alignment is virus more than 10 degree, I start to high tibial osteotomy in, 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 the, in, the, in the same situation, but I worry about the joy line. In this case, after I, I finish the distal femoral osteotomy, uh, if I use the high TB osteotomy, the joy line will show the oblique joy line in the scanogram. Okay. Professor Kim, what's your comment? Yes, good job. Good job. Yeah, but um, when we're considering about Future totally arthroplasty, we'd better make alignment neutral. And um, this is a three, three dimensional osteotomy. So, in case it's a very hard, almost impossible to remain hinge, we have to cut whole, whole bone. So, uh, in case we may use uh, two fixators, one is a locking plate. The other one, one is a retrograde IM nail. So in case, if, if you uh, use the retrograde IM nail from the distal femur end, maybe the neutral correction can be more easily obtained. Okay. Naturally corrected if we inserted a retrograde IM nail. So that would be another option. And uh, please believe yourself rather than navigation. And uh, for the osteotomy, the gross finding is also very important. So you have to see with your eyes when you correct the osteotomy. 
And also, you may use the straight road the, from the hip joint and knee joint, ankle joint. So, more varicose correction uh, would be more ideal in this case. That Thank you. My comment. Uh, Professor Ali, yeah, please give your comment and we will close the session. Ajahn Ali. In, in my opinion, if you use computer navigation, and this serve your target. I mean, the result serve your target. It means that you are satisfied, right? But uh, for me, uh, I think, uh, as Professor Kim says, uh, if you can have like another manual instrument, it's also very really helpful because this is modification of the navigator. And for me, uh, when I look back, could you go to the lateral film? You see the, the lateral film? I still uh, recognize that the, the femoral fraction is still there. So uh, this is why uh, if you plan to collect biplane, right? You decide the target angle you're gonna go, and you need to have something like a manual instrument to double check. I would say safer. But anyway, at the end of the day, if you're happy with the final alignment and you follow the bone get healing, the deformity better, and according to your previous purpose, I would say it yes. Thank you. May I? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. I think uh, such kind of osteotomy is very tough, even using uh, navigations. So my question is, uh, is the patient satisfied with the operations? Is the patient satisfied with the operation? Yes. Oh. Mm. That's uh, you are a good job. I, I'm sorry about the, 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 the last follow-up uh, that, that I can't X-ray in, in the last lab is six months because of uh, nowadays patient, uh, patient is pregnancy, <laughs> pregnancy and he's, he's still okay uh, about the, the, the functional. Uh, thank you. Okay, uh, we will close the session. Thank you for everyone to uh, attend this session. Thank you.